Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Drew Dober. Oh, let's get that out of here. Let's do. Where's it at? Right here. All right, you know, one second. Right here. There. Put up. Nope. Oh my goodness, Drew Dober. My God. Yo, okay, so. Like I said, Drew Dober versus Gene Silva. Drew Dober, 27 wins, 13 losses, 3-2 in, in his last five fights. 35 years old, 5'8", with a 70-inch 70, uh, 70 in, reach. Um, fighting Gene Silva, who just fought four days ago. By the time, it would be a little over a week. 13-2, uh, 27 years old, 5'7", with a 69-inch reach. 1 inch in height, 1 inch in reach for Drew Dober. This really comes down to Drew Dober being a little bit faster, being a little bit more crisp with the striking, has better footwork. I'm not going to put it past Gene Silva to be able to find the chin of Dober because Dober does tend to get hit. You know, but if you look at it, he's just fought better competition. Now, the one thing that's on Gene Silva's side is the fact that Drew Dober can't possibly be training for somebody like him. There's not a lot out there, you know. And now that now he has 20 finishes, nine wins by submission, 11 by TKO or KO. The, the submission one is weird. He has one submission win, I believe, against Jamie Varner, but he has nine TKO wins. He's been finished five times in the UFC, but only once with punches. Again, if Gene, Gene Silva can make this fight uh, a brawl, then he can really, really you know, he can find the chin of Dober because Dober will entertain him. He's on a 10-fight winning streak as Gene Silva, 2-0 in the UFC, 2 finishes, 12 finishes, 10 finishes uh, in his career, or 12 finishes, but 10 TKO wins, 7 in the first round. Finishing a guy like Charles Dordain is why this fight is a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging to figure out who I think is going to win. Now, you look at the uh, the st uh, you at the UFC stats. Let me see real quick. See if I can get it. Uh, bu 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 UFC stats. And then uh, okay, so oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Of course, they don't have it. How in the world do we not have this? How? But again, Dober will entertain. The striking matchup, he will entertain a brawl. So Gene Silva just has to be careful and, and pull him into a brawl. You know, fighting uh, as recent as he has can only help him, as we all know. Um, he didn't take any damage at all in that matchup. But again, there is levels. I do believe Drew Dober is that next level for Gene Silva, win or lose. Um, I, I just think Dober has better footwork. He's a better striker. He has better knockout power. He's a more technical striker. But Gene Silva's X factor is he's a dog and he's ready to fight. I go and Drew Dober, but it'd be impressive if Gene Silva can pull this one off. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.